Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing great today. In today's lesson, we're going to look at how to navigate from your container database to your pluggable database. Now, before we do that, I'd like us to understand what is this entire concept of container database and pluggable database. Okay. Now, the first thing you should know is this entire concept is known as multi-tenant and it started from release 12C. Now, prior to release 12C, we had just um, a non-container database, you know, where all of your applications get to connect to. Okay, but from release 12C, we had this concept of multi-tenant database where you have a container database, as we can see from the picture on our screen. Okay, we have this large container database and then we have one or more pluggable database. Now, if you look at our diagram, you see PDB seed, okay? By default, this pluggable database must come with a container database, a root database, okay? Because this actually serves as a template to clone other pluggable databases, okay? This is actually not open for read-write operations, okay? So this actually serves as a template, you know, it's known as PDB dollar sign seed. And then you can now create more pluggable databases which will be contained in the container database. Now, if you remember, when we were doing the installation, we actually installed the sample schema. And that sample schema is actually found in the pluggable database, O-R-O-C-L P-D-B. O-R-O-C-L P-D-B. Okay, so your applications will normally be connected to your pluggable database, as you can see from our diagram, okay? You see the HRO application is connected to the HRO pluggable database. And then if you work in an organization where, you know, they have some money to hire a large number of database administrators, each DBA will actually manage a certain pluggable database. Okay, and then you have maybe a senior DBA actually managing the entire container database. Okay, but in an organization where, you know, they are looking at saving costs, what you see commonly, you know, is one database administrator that can actually administer all of these databases. And then the, the multi-tenant architecture actually makes the life of a database administrator quite easy because it becomes easier to you know, manage different databases, okay? So let's quickly rush to my screen, to our lab environment, where I get to show you how to navigate between your container database and your pluggable database. So here we are live at our server. Let me quickly open a terminal and then I quickly connect to the database. Okay, you can see connected to an idle instance. So I'll just issue the command start up. You should know this by now. Okay, so our database is open. Now, the very first time you connect to the database, you will find yourself in the root database. Okay, you find yourself in the root database, which is, you know, the container database. So the command to get to know where which of the databases you are connected to, which of the containers you are connected to is, sorry, show con underscore name. From our output, you can see I am connected to CDB dollar sign root. So this simply tells me that I am actually in the root database. Okay, and then remember, um, while I was showing you the diagram, I told you that a multi-tenant database must have a container database and at least one pluggable database, at least one pluggable database. You could have more pluggable database, which is the ideal thing to do. So um, let me use the command show PDBS. 
Now, if you look at our output, okay, we have the PDB dollar sign seed, which I showed you in our diagram, which is a template. Okay, you can see it's on, it's a read-only database. You cannot write to it because it's a template. This template actually guides you to clone other pluggable databases. All right. Now, from our output, you can see we have OROCL PDB, okay, which is mounted. It's not open yet. And then you can see PDB1 mounted, not open. PDB test mounted, not open. So apart from the PDB dollar sign seed, which is a template, I have three other pluggable databases which are already created, okay, on this machine, on this server. Another thing you get to take note of is the container ID, okay, for the PDB dollar sign seed. It has a container ID of two, and then OROCL PDB has a container ID of three, and then PDB one has a container ID of four. Now, CDB dollar sign root actually has the container ID one because that's the general database. So the next thing I want to try to do is to open this database, OROCL PDB. So what's the command to use? Very simple alter pluggable database OROCLPDB open. You can see the command alter pluggable database OROCL open. You have to specify the name of the pluggable database you want to open. Okay? So I'll do this. You can see pluggable database altered. So if I do the command show con underscore name, it shows that I'm still in the root database. So how do I move from the root database to any of the pluggable databases? Very simple. You have to issue the command alter session set container equal to OROCL PDB. So you issue the command alter session set container equal to OROCL PDB. So I'm moving from the root database to the pluggable database OROCL PDB. So I'll enter and you can see session has been altered. So if I issue the command again, show con underscore name this con is short form for container so show container name that's what it means you can see i am now connected to orcl pdb so if i want to go back to the root database all i need to do is very simple i issue the same command alter session set container equal to cdb dollar sign root session has been altered if i issue the command show con underscore name so i'm back to the root database and then another command the database administrator can issue okay to open all the pluggable databases you can do alter pluggable database all open and then all the pluggable databases have been opened okay so let me shut it down this was a practice let me shut down all the pluggable databases okay and then there's something else i want to show you okay so before i shut down the databases let's do this again show pdbs So you can see that all the pluggable databases have been open. Okay, all of them are open in read write mode, except for PDB dollar sign seed, which is a template. So let me close all the pluggable databases because I want to show you something now. Alter pluggable database all close immediate. 
Okay, so the pluggable databases have been closed. Now, let me move back to OROCLPDB, okay? Alter session set container equal to OROCLPDB. Session has been altered. If I say show con underscore name, just to be sure that I am in the pluggable database, yes, I am actually in the pluggable database OROCL PDB. So if I want to open this database, for instance, now that I am in the pluggable database, I can issue the command alter pluggable database open. Now, observe that I did not specify the name of the pluggable database. This is because I am already connected to that pluggable database. So I don't have to specify the name. I just have to issue the command alter pluggable database open. Pluggable database altered. You can see it's opened. So let me close it again. Alter pluggable database close immediate. Yes. And then alter session set container equal to CDB dollar sign roots. So I'm moving back to the roots database. Session has been altered. Show con underscore name. I'm back to the root database. So this is how you move between your root database and your pluggable database. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, kindly share it widely and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.